I just want to ask you guys a very simple question. Can you say me? What is this? Plastic bag. Yeah, it is plastic bag. And it's like how I started my journey. I meant to put it into my pockets and start telling you. At the first time, I did my BA, my undergraduate in environment. So I was supposed to be a guy, like an engineer, working um, as any factory, doing, the, doing any stuff related to water treatment. But like after working there, I was working there for a month, two months and three months, and I realized, oh, it wasn't my thing. Something went so wrong here. I still love environment, but I like something that's different. And then I went to Thailand to do my uh, volunteer teaching in the two months, and I found out, oh, education is my thing forever. It's like how I started my journey. So I know the knowledge about environment for four years studying in my university in Vietnam, but I love education. So how I can do a combination between, uh, between environment and education. So I did environmental project. Uh, and then I got like uh, some offer to go abroad, especially I work in Nepal. I, I was a plastic teacher. You can see like a guy from Vietnam went to Nepal Nepal is an underdeveloped country, so I was living and teaching with the orphan at the orphanage for three months. And then when I started my, my, my lesson about plastic, and then I, I, tell, I tell people so many things, and all the things I got back from them is, it's just a plastic. So, so I told them, it's just not a plastic, it's a plastic. But it's like, so how harmful plastic could be, and um, what we should deal with it what we should deal with this. And then I, I knew that the power of education and how powerful it is with education, I can make people realize because you don't know what you don't know. And then after the, uh, after the journey, when I uh, started my, my teaching plastic, um, the journey about teaching plastic, you can see at the picture when I smile with the children in Nepal, and one more is a workshop I did in um, Sumedang area in Indonesia. I tell people about how you can reduce, recycle, and uh, refill to you plastic. So it's all about how I started my journey. It's just a little bit about myself now, uh, about my experience and my journey with Leap Packet. I was a um, uh, master's student in education in 2020, and now I am doing my second master in communication and uh, public relation, also in uh, at Libekit as well, and besides, um, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm working as a communication coordinator uh, at a university in London. And uh, it's all about, a little bit about myself before getting about my research. So if you know about my research, you, you should know about a little bit about the motivation. I love, I love environmental, I love environment, I love education, but you must have put myself in the context of Vietnam. Vietnam is on top 10 of the country, released the biggest waste into the ocean every year until now. So it's kind of the thing like motivated me to do my job. So it is like my uh, research I did uh, for my MA in education at Lee Beckett University two years ago in the context of the pandemic. So it's all about enhancing uh, ecological literacy and environmental education for students, but outside of class. And uh, at that time, I did the research for 400 students. Uh, it, it should be primary, uh, so, sorry, it should be high school and university students about their uh, learning about environment journey since you was a kid until you over 18. So the research question uh, for, my, for, for, for my study about two things. The first one finds a way how to increase environmental awareness, but out of the class. And the second one, I think it's quite, it's quite challenging to me, how to make it interesting. It is very, very hard and challenging because like how to make it engaged and interesting, especially for young people. And it's like what I got. The first one, the place to study environmental knowledge, we need to fight it. So majority, the, uh, the people participated in my study, they went for field trip. They went for field trip, beside other things. But in the field trip, we have so many places to go, right? So you can guess like where either, like where the place people like the most. Can you guess? 
is quite interesting, botanical garden. So my finding, I know people can say, oh, it's just a garden, but it uh, is based on the people opinion. So the key thing here, if you want to tell uh, your kids, uh, your, your nephew and your niece about environment, start it with the garden. Bring them to the garden and tell them about some the, the little thing. I think it is one of the best way for me to nurture the environmental love in the kids and children. Uh, and then, at, you know, in 2020, we all need to cope with COVID, the, yeah, the pandemic. So how we can maintain the way we learn about, we learn about the green content, about the green lesson, when it's just at home. So I, I, I did the research to ask the people about their interest from level one, the lowest, and level four, the highest, about the interest of people with virtual field trip. And surprisingly, I can have mostly people rank it at level three. So it's a really good sign for us, even we are in the, in the room, we are disconnected with, with people, but we still have the connection with environment. And then now things change, no more lockdown. We are, I think, so much happier, right? And then, but now I just question myself one, one question to lead me to my second research. So, but I cannot like be the person who can, if, if I go to the class, one day the people I can reach, maybe just 40 people, but how I can make it more, more and more. And now we are all living in the era of social media. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Twitter. We have a thousand of the platforms that we can connect to people and spread out the green content. So it is the research I did over 100 participants, but they all over 18. From 18 to 30, like the young, the young generation, I can guess. And then I, can, I found out three platforms. People just and prefer to receive the Korean, the Korean content. So first and foremost, it's gonna be TikTok. Everyone, you know, surfing TikTok now. Even now I can then with some song, you know, on the TikTok, it's, it's easily to go viral. Second one, Instagram. And last but not least, Facebook. So what is the element and the factor that we all care about the green content on social media? So people said that in my, in my study, it must be practical, easy to apply. It's gonna be the key thing. So I just it's like a little bit about my two of my research. So uh, I really like a quote. It's like a journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. It's why I'm here. I, I, I start with nothing, which is like a little boy in Vietnam growing up with no English. And seeing like I started studying English since um, when I um, was 18 years old. And then and, and now, and I'm here telling everyone, so if you love environment, start with a single thing. First one, telling your kids, the like young people around you about environment in the garden and let's and let to create your TikTok with the green content. Thank you so much for listening to me.